if you want your AI agent to have access to Gmail, to Google Calendar, and to G Sheets, you have to connect it with the Google API. Now I know this process can be quite frustrating and that's exactly why I made this tutorial which shows you the easiest way to connect with Google. Let's get started. So we're going to navigate to console.cloud.google.com and then you're going to click here and click here on new project. I just give your project the name, I'm going to call it NAI agent like this and then click on create. Now we have created a Google console project and before we can proceed, we also have to select it. So just click here on select project and now you will see that this project will become active right here. And the first thing that we're going to do is enable all the APIs that we need. So click here on APIs and services like this, then navigate to library. And then you see here all the APIs that we can use and the ones that we are going to activate are um, those four. So I'm going to activate the Google Drive API, click on it. Then click on Enable, then navigate back. Then we're also going to activate the Google Calendar API. Click on Enable, then go back. We're going to activate the Gmail API because we also want to send out emails. And the last one that we want to activate is the Google Sheets API. So click on it, click on Enable, and then navigate back. So those are the four most basic APIs. Of course, you can enable any API that you need from Google. Then the next step is to set up our OAuth authentication. So click here on the arrow in, in order to navigate back. Then navigate to OAuth consent screen. And then click here on get started. I'm going to provide a name for our application. I'm just going to provide N8N. And we have to provide a support email. Click on next. Then the audience is going to be external. Next. And then of course you can here provide again your email address. Like this. And then of course you have to agree with the terms and conditions. Click on continue and then click on create. And then we're going to navigate to audience where we're going to add ourselves as a test user because we don't want to actually put this application in production. So navigate here to uh, test users, add users, and this is where you're going to add your Google account. Click on save. So now you're actually inviting your Google account to become a test user of this application, which is still in beta. Once we've done this, we're going to navigate to clients, and this is where we're going to create a new client. So click on create client. The application type is going to be a desktop application and just go to call it N8N and click on create. And I see that we get both a client ID and a client secret and we're going to provide these two parameters to N8N. So I just uh, select the client ID and we get to N8N. I'm just going to start with the G Sheet activity. So click here on create new credential and I'm going to provide here the client ID and as well the client secret like this. Don't press on save yet, but click here on sign in with Google. You get a security notification, just select your account here. And then here, do not click on back to safety, but here you're going to click on continue. And then you can select what N8N is authorized to do with your account. So I'm just going to click on select all. If you want, you can as well disable some of them and then click on continue. Then close this one and then close this one. And then let's navigate back. Now the weird thing is that at this moment, N8N doesn't seem to understand that G Sheet, Gmail, and a Google Calendar all use the same credential. So we now have to add this credential to all these activities. So uh, click on Gmail and click create new credential. And here we're just going to execute 100% the same process. So provide the client ID, provide the client secret, click on sign in with Google, etc., etc. And then we just have to repeat this process again for Google Calendar. And now we can actually use this AI agent. So as you can see, I've connected it to a G Sheet file to my email and of course to my calendar. And in this G Sheet file, you see this file is called CRM and it consists of email addresses. So I'm going to add this agent to um, schedule a meeting with John Jello. And if I now navigate to my Google Calendar, you see that a meeting has been scheduled with John Jello and an email has also been sent out to John Jello confirming our meeting. And if you want to build this AI agent, you can actually do that together with me. We're going to do that in my next video. I hope to see you there.